Here we are at the entrance of the Traverse City State Park. Uh, it is along kind of a busy highway, just uh, east of downtown area, so it can be a little bit noisy uh, near the park. However, it tends to quiet down at nighttime. Right here at the uh, Traverse City State Park, spot 219 is ours. There's our reg. Now, this is known as a level spot. And I've come to uh, understand that as basically sort of level. And usually if it says level, it's level enough to be within the range of my hydraulic lifts without having to put any more blocks or anything underneath it. Uh, typical of a state park in Michigan. Uh, nice campground, nice wooded area. But uh, the sites are well worn with a picnic table and a fire pit. Uh, not too far from the uh, bathroom there. 30 amp service, uh, however, no sewer, no water hookup, which is also typical. But, you know, they're usually under 30 bucks a night, so it's not too bad. And right across the street from the state park is the east branch of the Grand Traverse Bay, which goes out into Lake Michigan. So this is a beautiful beach that goes all along the roadside here. Although it's still tricky to get across, as you might imagine, except there is a bridge, a, a pedestrian bridge, about a quarter mile ahead of us, which you can get to from the park. Also, the state park has its own entrance to the uh, pedestrian bridge, and uh, you can also uh, put your bike here. I think this gate probably closes at 10, because that's when visitors are supposed to leave. And you can see how close the state park is here to the highway. I mean, it's right adjacent to it. And uh, it's pretty noisy in the daytime. Nighttime, not too bad. These are some of the beautiful beaches that uh, Lake Michigan and even Grand Traverse Bay is known for. Although we are very close to the 45th parallel here, and even in July, the water can be a little bit on the chilly side. So usually um, the most hardy of people go, but you know, there's hotels and beaches along the whole uh, waterfront here. And, and for perspective, we'll swing around here, and you can see that the uh, state park is basically where that tree line is, which is across the highway. Now, if you brought a boat with you, there really is no place to launch here. There is a municipal marina about two miles down the road, but it's on the west branch of the bay, and this is the east branch of the bay. So if you're going to bring your boat out here, um, you got probably a 35 mile trip on water because you got to go all the way out to the end of the bay here, this little peninsula, and come back around to get to this side. There may, however, be some private boat launchers along here. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a boat, so I just don't really know. So if you're going to bring a boat here and tend to do a lot of boating, you're going to want to do uh, some checking out ahead of time. And downtown Traverse City is about two, three miles west of here. Today it's during the Cherry Festival, so they have the whole area with all kinds of vendors and everything. Uh, their show and stuff was last weekend. And in fact, one of the other things that make this a little bit noisy is the, the Traverse City Airport is on the other side, basically of the campground maybe a mile or so away, so you do get a lot of air traffic uh, overhead as well. So between the airport and the highway, it's kind of noisy here in the daytime. Nighttime we didn't notice so much. Everything kind of quiets down. And this beach area is actually part of the state park all the way up to where this hotel is. Maybe a half mile of beach. Well, on the back side of the uh, park, there is a trail that you can ride your bike. And they even got little uh, placards out where they got a bike shop and a coffee shop not far. And I don't know if this railroad track is active or not, but um, if it is, just a little more noise, I suppose. But even so, it's still a pretty nice place, and I'd come back here again. Because there's plenty to do and see here at Traverse City, especially during the uh, Cherry Festival. Well, within uh, easy walking distance uh, from the campground on the trail, at least within a half mile, there's all kinds of manner of things. There's a 
little uh, playground area here with uh, bumper boats and uh, water slide, Dairy Queen, down the road a little bit to Bob Evans, you know, Wendy's and all kinds of stuff. Uh, bike shop, coffee shops, you name it. There's a little bit of everything, so you could spend the whole day exploring on the backside of the state park.